Howdy everyone. Thomas asked me to narrate the video for this week to talk to you about building information modeling. My name is Marcus Ertucci, and I am the Virtual Design Construction Specialist for your T.A. Brown Elementary School. Some of you may have seen your parents come home excited about buying a new piece of furniture. But piece by piece as they assemble the furniture they were so excited about, they become increasingly more agitated. They stare at the structures and try to wrap their heads around how the furniture pieces are actually arranged. Your parents are frustrated because they are trying to assemble a three-dimensional object using two-dimensional plans. There's nothing wrong with how the plans are laid out. Companies actually spend quite a lot of money on special designers called drafters to make the plans as comprehensive as possible. Construction contractors go through the same thing despite possibly having years of experience putting buildings together. Now, before you start judging, here's something to consider. This is a piece of a two-dimensional set of plans. In order to truly understand how the building is supposed to look like, you have to translate all the symbols, lines, and shading patterns to imagine how the building comes together. This is where BIM comes in. BIM stands for Building Information Modeling. You can imagine BIM as something like a computer game that designers and contractors use with the plans to put buildings together. When a 3D model of a building is in a BIM program, it can be separated into groups called layers. For instance, all your water pipes, pipe elbows, and spigots could be grouped into the same layer called plumbing features. This does two things. It allows you to make multiple objects hide or disappear so you can see what's behind them. So right now, I'm in a model of your new school. I'm trying to look at a piece of water piping, but it's hard because the walls are in the way. But if I hide the layer that the walls are in, now I can see the water piping. The second thing layers let us do is look for clashes. A clash happens when two systems in a building try to go through the same place. Take a look at this clash. Here we have a piece of water piping trying to go through a piece of air conditioning duct. In a two-dimensional set of plans, this clash would look like this. But in building information modeling, or BIM, this clash is much easier to see. So if BIM is so great, why do we even use 2D plans? The truth is, at least for right now, 2D plans are just easier to use. When you walk onto a job site, more often than not, you won't be lugging around a computer behind you in a wheelbarrow. And quickly printing out a 3D model before you head out from the job trailer really isn't an option with today's technology. And just like all video games, BIM has a learning curve. In fact, there are classes in college today that teach people how to work in a building information modeling program. But don't let that discourage you. Having a job in BIM is fun to say the least, and because technology is constantly evolving, your work will evolve with it. You'll be given opportunities that will allow you to branch off into new and interesting subjects to better understand how to make the virtual reality your reality.